Okay, in this module or set of modules, we're going to talk about the Klaviyo and general email updates that have come into effect literally today as I'm recording these videos, Thursday the 1st of February. And moving forwards in 2024, all email senders, emailers, are going to need to meet Google and Yahoo's new email sender requirements. As emailers, it will be absolutely vital that our content doesn't end up in spam. Otherwise, no one's going to see it and no one's going to read it. No one's going to click the links in your emails and no one's going to buy anything off of you. Bulk senders or brands that send 5,000 plus emails a day are going to be affected by these new rules. And even if you're not sending 5,000 emails a day, you really need to get on board with these new rules anyway. If you think 5,000 emails a day sounds like a lot, it's really not especially once you get things rolling in Klaviyo. It's not that much at all. Just to put that into context, the brand I worked with last quarter, Q4 of 2023, they had a list of about 150K. So a big list, but with that and with new customers being onboarded as well and all the flows they had fixed up and the campaigns they were doing and everything else, they were regularly sending out over a million emails a month. If you're not up to that point yet, you can easily reach it. So let's not think that 5,000 is a lot. You may have seen a blue bar appear at the top of your Clavio if you had it before the February updates warning you as to what was going to happen. I'll put a screenshot of that in here if you haven't had that or you've bought your account after February 1st. That had a link in it, which leads to this page here. And Clavio have uh, handily put in a list here that I have copied into the slideshow. And it lists what you can do in your Clavio to help your account and to make sure your emails won't end up in spam. Rather than work through every point in one video, I'm gonna separate it into a few videos, but for now, Let's get back to the slide and just talk through these. So we need to remove Gmail from your friendly from address. And if we go to Clavio install that I'm recording this course in, how do we get to that in Clavio? If we go to settings here at the bottom, and then if we just go to organization, this is where you will put your email in. You see here that I do have a Gmail email in, which I just added really when I was fixing up my Clavio to record this course. Not an issue. We're going to work through changing that now. Obviously, it is just a matter of changing it for an email here. But how do we get that email? If you're relatively new to Shopify and opening a store and all the rest of it, you might just have used a Gmail like I have here. You need to change that now in order to uh, ensure that your emails don't go through to spam. Let's go and sort an email out for my store. I do all my domain type stuff in Namecheap. You might use another provider, but I'm just on the email page here. And what do you know? They've got a deal on, which is handy. Depending on which package you buy from either Namecheap, if you use them or another provider, you'll see that they offer different kind of deals depending on your business setup will depend on how many mailboxes you may need so this one here uses five mailboxes this one uses three and this one just uses one depending on how you have your store fixed up you might want a separate email for your support desk you might want some for your employees you might want one for the store right it depends what you need for now i'm just going to buy one mailbox so we can fix up the clavio I'm using to make this course with. Once you decide which package you want to buy, whether you need the five mailboxes, the three mailboxes, or the one, you will go through the process of paying for it, and then that will open it up. And then to get to that in Namecheap anyway, I can only talk you through Namecheap, I'm afraid. This is who I use. So if you use someone else, ask for their support or look up a YouTube on how to organize this for them. And we're going to look for our domain. I have the email fixed up on it here. I bought the one email package and we're going to go manage. 
And you'll see here, I've ordered the private email, but I haven't added a mailbox. First, we need to add these important DNS records from the table below. This is quite easy to do, so let's not get uh, crazy about it. We just open a new tab for the domains. Scroll down to the domain of the store here and do manage. And we go to advanced DNS. So we already have some of the DNS records added here when I fixed up the Shopify store. And then we've got the mail ones here underneath. It looks like two have already been added in. Maybe they got added when I bought the domain. Is that MX record? MX1, that private email. That one's added in. And MX2, looking like the same thing. So Namecheap seems to have added these two in, which is handy. And then we need a text record added here, which I think I saw I did. And they've been added in as far as I can see, by Namecheap, which is nice of them. I thought I might have to add them in myself, but no problems there. This is added in, and now we need to create a mailbox. So I'm going to click this link, and I will call it shop at gadgetgalaxy.pro. I'm going to fix up a password, confirm it, and then this is just where you pick the amount of storage you want to allocate if you had more than one email address. I only have one, so I'm going to leave that set to five, and then I'm going to click Save Changes. And now that is fixed up here. So I can open Webmail now from inside Namecheap and log in with my user and password. And that will log in to my email. Now you don't have to use web email obviously if you've got a client such as Outlook or Thunderbird or Apple Mail you can easily uh, import this mailbox into one of those if you would rather use that that's not an issue there. This is just for example purposes. What I would do now is send a test email to this account So I just sent a email from another account. Let's see if that works. And it does, right here. We know the email account works. Please make sure you test yours before you add it to Klaviyo, obviously. But now we have a working email that is not a Gmail or a Yahoo or any sort of free email provider online, which is what Klaviyo and everyone else is trying to avoid. So let's go back to Klaviyo. We have our new email address. That is not a Gmail in this case. We're going to add that in, click save, and then you'll get this box here. So we're going to want to apply it to campaigns and personal messages. Apply it to all email and internal alert actions. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to confirm choices, and there we go. So back to the slideshow. We've removed a Gmail from our friendly from address. That's added that, and then I'm going to touch on another point here, make it easy to unsubscribe. That just means having an unsubscribe link in all your emails. Clavio puts that in automatically, as far as I know. Let's just see if that's the case by sending a test email to our new email account and we can check what that looks like all right so let's have a look at this email here and we'll go preview and test send test and i will paste the new email address into here click send and then we will go back here and wait for the new email to pop in. Here it is. We're going to go show images. Email's looking okay. And here we go, right at the bottom, we've got an unsubscribe link. So they're in automatically anyway. 
and that's what we want. You need to have those in. I'm not sure if it's even legal or has been legal for a while, in certain parts of the world anyway, to email people without an unsubscribe link in there. But just in case you've removed it or something like that, just make sure that it's in. And in our case, it is in, in every email. So for now, I'm going to end this module. I will talk about these others in further modules. But for now, we've handled points one and point five. I'll see you in the next module.